All right, so today we'll be doing the question of the day. The trackers are due today, these, and then the worksheet that goes along with these. And I'm going to show you how to do the worksheet with this. And there's two sides to these trackers. There's the tracking side of them, which is the front, and the calculator side, which is the back. So when we shoot them off, we're going to be 30 meters away on either side with a rocket in the middle. One of you will be pulling the string and the rocket will fly straight up. And the people on the outsides will be watching the rocket go up. And as you watch the rocket go up, when it reaches its highest point, you put your hand on the side of the tracker where you will figure out how many degrees your angle is and then flip over the back side to calculate. Looking at the worksheet, you got some problems where it's split up into two different parts. Numbers three, four, five, and six are, you'll figure out how many meters high your rocket went, and the rest of the questions will be configuring the meters to feet. So let's do the first one together. If your altitude tracker reads 30 degrees, how many meters did your rocket fly? So that's saying you watch the rocket go up 30 meters, you flip it over on the back, pull your string through 30 degrees, and where your string matches up with the black line is how many degree uh, how many meters high your rocket went so in this case 30 degrees is roughly 18 meters high if you put 17 meters or 19 meters I'll accept that too for number four five and six you'll do the same thing however the degrees change. So you can think of it as these are different teams shooting off their rockets. Now let's look at number seven. Number seven is where you will show one point for doing your math and another point for having the correct answer. Number seven reads, if your rocket went 25 meters, how many feet did your rocket go? So we're going to set that up as a math problem with 3.28 feet equaling one meter. We're going to times it by 25, because for number 7, it went 25 meters. So 3.28 times 25. We do the math. We get 82 feet. For the rest of the questions, you'll do the same thing. You'll convert the meters to feet. 